Okay, so now we're in my box and ready to go. Uh, just a couple of things to get started. Uh, let's uh, see up here we've got our object list and we've got our layers. So just it's good to know the difference between those two. The object list is kind of like our outliner and we can just select our face to make sure we're on our face. The other way to do it is to go in the menu and we can actually right click and go select model and that will select the model that we're currently on. You can see it's selected multiple there. But just to make sure we're on the face, that's it. You'll, our model will turn yellow. That just means over here in our select and move tools, we've actually selected it. So the way to deselect it is to hit the V key, which is actually this one faces here. So V for Victor, and then you can click in the gray and that deselects it. So that's the way to get rid of the yellow. Now we come back to our sculpt tools. This is what we want to be doing. Now our sculpt tools, I've just rearranged them a little bit here, so they might be in a different order to you guys. but. Uh, essentially it's the same now the sculpt tool is the first one that we want to use here and this is kind of like our main tool but uh, you know I don't really use it that much but you can sort of see here that when we sculpt onto the face it just sort of brings that out uh, as you can see now control is our first top key to remember and that it sucks in instead of pulling out so control is the inverse of whatever we're doing normal and then by holding down control we invert in the next one to remember is the B key. So this is just like my the brush size. Uh, we hold down the B key and then we can click and drag. Uh, that's the, the second hotkey. Now to make the tool stronger or weaker, we hold the M key. So this is the M key. And you can see if we've got this right up, uh, it will start to come out quite quickly. Whereas if we've got this right down to some small, it's quite a subtle kind of slow change as you can sort of see there. So that's the M key. Uh, now, so B and M we've covered. Now just make sure we're on mirror for symmetrical stuff. So if you've got this off, we'll only be painting on one side. That's the default setting. So just come across here. Whenever you click on any of these, these sculpt tools, the options will come up over here. So we can just come into X and now we're in symmetry mode. So that's how we do symmetry. Okay, so that's the sculpt tool. Now we can use that for puffing out cheeks and doing things and doing other bits and pieces. Uh, the other uh, next tool is the grab tool. So the grab tool is my favorite for facial expressions and that's because we can sort of just grab and do things there and uh, move stuff around. So you can sort of see how that grab tool works and we can kind of get in here and do very subtle type expression work. Uh, well, <laughs> subtle type expression work kind of like, you know, very subtle type stuff. Uh, so that's our grab tool. Uh, now, uh, the other thing to remember too is if we've, we're sort of coming here and doing this sort of work, uh, holding down shift will actually smooth out our mesh. So that's another one to sort of know. Now you can sort of see here what it's doing in the wireframe mode. So the wireframe mode is W, W toggles that on and off. And by holding down the shift key, you can see what we're doing, we're sort of smoothing out the face and it can smooth out the face really quite quickly uh, to get different effects <laughs> there, that sort of a thing. So uh, it's sort of worth mentioning here um, uh, that sort of stuff. Now uh, another couple of things just to remember while we're here is the freeze. Freeze just means that we can't paint on the surface. So I'm going to hit the, the uh, W key to get wireframe off. We just come in here and sort of paint around his eyes and stuff like that. Now this is great because it means that it's very difficult now for us, or it's impossible for us in fact, to start moving the eyes. So wherever it's blue, we sort of can't touch that area, as you can see here. So the blue area is sort of frozen off and it just means that we can't affect it. And this is great for us when we're doing face shapes because we can use these really big brushes to affect the cheek and different things but we're not going to be affecting the, the nose at all so this is great freeze now a couple of things with freeze is that our shift I will invert that freeze which is a quite a handy one especially when you're sculpting and shift U will actually get rid of that so shift U is to get rid of it shift I is to invert the freeze and that's this icon here to paint uh, just like other tools we can use control to take away as well. So that's the basic uh, sculpting tools guys and I'll just do a quick demo here and change, show you guys how you can actually change the base mesh quite radically uh, 
with just these simple couple of tools. So I'm gonna just have a little bit of play with this mesh and put that in fast forward for you guys. All right guys, so there we go. You can see how I've uh, quite radically changed this mesh just with a few different tools and you know, we can continue to come in here and really like change this further. Uh, but it's really up to you um, what sort of stuff you want. Just go and have a play with these tools to get your head around Mudbox first and then you can start to come in and do some face shapes.